Hi, this is Justice. In this video, we're going to be talking about the Properties panel. So right here, this is the Tools, this is the Properties panel, and down here are our Brush panels. So here, these are specific to whatever tool you're using. So here, if I click on Watercolor or Express Oils or Pencil, that's going to change the information not only here, but also in this Context menu. We're going to talk about some of the things that stay the same from Tool to Tool. So here we have the options for saving changes as default, reset brush changes, and save as a new brush preset. Now some of these have icons on the panel itself. So save changes as default is right here. So if we make a change and we want it to stay, you can see down here the Pentel brush shape is growing and shrinking, which is a really cool addition. Uh, you can adjust the opacity if there's a setting in here that you don't see, like pressure. You can add it here. Now pressure is for styluses that don't support pressure. So if you're using a mouse or using a stylus that doesn't support pressure, you can adjust it manually here. You can open and close the brush creator right here. And if you want to adjust the pen pressure smoothing or the line stabilization, click this icon here. If you want to save this specifically to a brush, right here is what you need to check and it'll save it specifically to that brush. So let's say we want positional smoothing and let's bring this up so it's easy to see. We have this saved to this brush. So here, So I have that with the pulled string on. You'll see here that there is no positional smoothing on this brush. We can go back and forth uh, between brushes that have stabilization and brushes that don't. I am a big fan of this uh, improvement in Rebel 5. Very cool. All right, if we want to undock that panel, we can click right here and we can move it around. Now, if we close the properties panel, this will disappear as well. So you can adjust pressure sensitivity here, adjust the curve with this slider here. Here you can make it exactly what you want. And reset. All right, let's close that. One of the more complicated concepts to understand in, in Rebel is how you can adjust multiple brushes at the same time. So if I want 4H, 2H, H, and HB to all adjust at the same time, so anytime I make one bigger or smaller, one more opaque or less opaque, uh, we're gonna go ahead and hide pressure here. By the way, there's a setting to have those values applied or not applied if hidden uh, inside of preferences, so you can adjust that. Okay, so here we want all of these. Don't save volumes. Let's click here. Choose don't save volumes. Don't save volumes. Don't save volumes. All right, so let's put a line on the screen. We're at size 25. Let's bring it up to 52. Now when we go over here, all of these will be size 52. Now if we click on 2B, which has this option to save volumes, this is going to have a different size and a size that will not affect these that use the default for the pencil tool. So you can see how all of those adjust together and this one adjusts independently because it's saving the volumes. Now we can save not only the volumes but we can save the paint modes into the brush preset also. So let's say we want 4H to paint, we want 2H to paint and blend, we want H to blend, and we want HB to erase. Now, we did not set this to retain any of this information, so now when we go back, all it's going to do is going to remember the last state that we had it on for all of these. So let's change these. We're going to save volumes and paint modes for the four brushes. Say volumes and paint modes. Now notice all of these have the eraser icon. So let's go ahead and switch these back to what we had discussed. You can see the icons there attached. All right, so here we have paint. Here we have paint and mix. 
This might be a little harder to see, but I'm blending. I'm mixing. Uh, here we have blend. This is not going to have any color information. This one, this one here does not have color information with light pressure. And then with heavy pressure, it has color information. And this one is our eraser. So we can, with these different settings, we can retain that information, we can choose to discard it, use the, the uh, settings for the tool, we can not retain that information and keep track of these as a group, and so you have a lot of options there. Okay, now along with those settings, there's a new option in Rebel 5, which is called Volume Presets. So here we're going to open up this panel and we're going to put it up here and we're going to add to it opacity and pressure. If we used a watercolor brush, which we will, we can add water and let's give ourselves a little bit of color and delete this. And let's go here and turn on the pigments because I love them. Okay, now let's say we want to jump in size really quickly, we can do this and bring it back down. We can have very specific sizes, very specific opacities. These you can, if you create a different one, so we have 40 right here, 40 right here. If I bring this up and then over here in opacity, I right click, I can add that preset and you can see we have 67 right there. I can also right click on it and remove that preset. If it's something that's already there, it's not going to make a copy of the same thing twice, so keep that in mind. Okay, so here we can adjust the amount of water to a little bit of water or a lot of water. Let's put a lot of water and then a little bit. It's very easy to use, and you can do the same thing here with pressure but my stylus has pressure, so I'm not gonna play with that right now. If we turn this off, you're gonna see that there's some more options here for transparency. These I'll talk about in the watercolor tutorial. And then I want to know also that the dirty brush and multicolored brush, those options I will be talking about in a separate tutorial as well. So if you have questions about those, check out the other tutorials on this channel. Now, the last thing I'm gonna mention if you have a setting here, you have the flat and the dry brush, you really like this, and you want to have a similar brush in watercolors that has the same brush shape, the same head, and a lot of the same settings from the brush creator, you can right click here and you can choose copy brush preset. We have flat dry, we're gonna move over here. And let's create a new panel. We're gonna do add group. It's going to be my brushes. I'm going to right click here and I'm going to paste that brush preset. So you can see here we have all of these settings. Now they're different from tool to tool. So you can't put a watercolor brush in a pencil and expect it to behave differently. It's going to use the pencil settings underneath in the back end of Rebel 5. You can see a lot of the information has transferred over. And so I have a watercolor brush that has a lot of the settings there from the properties panel and the brush creator from the other mode. All right, you guys, I hope you found this helpful. If you have questions, put it in the comment section. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.